show you these boring rings that I made. You can buy something that will attach in these little holes that you can cut it to any size that you want. I thought this worked pretty well, things that I bought. So I bought this huge ring and then I just machined it on both sides. So it's actually two different sizes. This is important because you need to get the jaws to the proper size so you can get perfect accuracy when you're cutting parts. So I cut this like to put on my jaws here and then I'm cutting this section here so that I can grab the Mini Cooper compressor housing right here on the back so I can surface the front and then I'll surface the front so I can grab it on the front and machine this accurately. I took this tool and I made my cuts here and then I surfaced the front. I could surface the back too. I'm not going to do that because this part that I'm putting on here is going to butt up against this and being held right there. And when I'm cutting this, I'm actually cutting it bigger than the part. So when this is going to grab the compressor housing, it's actually going to be touching this corner right here not that corner but this one so it's going to have a machined edge there it's going to have six points of contact two at each chuck which is going to make it extremely accurate i usually can get it within a thousand sometimes it's absolutely perfect when i do it this way this is the end result when i got this on the machine so it's butting up against this part of the chuck and it's gripping on that edge that you now can't really see but it's there now i'm going to take one of my boring bars and cut this so that i could grab this accurately the main issue here is this inlet was machined by a milling machine you can see that cut right there where it's not even if i try to grab that on the lathe it's not going to be accurate so i need to go ahead and cut this so I can machine this accurately for the new wheel we're going to use. This is a look at all the boring rings that I created. This I want to show you this is a 52 piece master bushing set. This is absolutely perfect for cutting any size bore that you want. So this goes all the way down to I think. I took my 3 8 boring bar and I just went over and surfaced it we had to cut about ten thousandths off that i put this in the jaws and then i'm going to take it back out so that is a little bit oh, that is a little bit bigger than what i need right here the way for me to handle this is i need to put a little boring ring in there i'll take one from my set grab one that it just is going to compress or is going to be a little bit smaller than this so we'll cut these smaller than that part to make this accurate when we go to cut it. So we'll cut the jaws using one of these rings. It's really important that before you cut these, you take your part that you're going to cut and try to put it inside of the jaws and make sure that it does not go in there so that you're going to have a cut that's smaller than the part. I chose a 30 millimeter and it fits perfect. The jaws are actually cut for this as well, for that part to go in there. So I used like the 18 or 19 from there and put that back here and then cut these jaws so that it can cut, hold that part accurate. We're at 600 RPM and make a cut. see where I cut where I had the sharpie there so it looks pretty even all the way around I'm pretty happy with that and it's still tightened down so just make sure that this does not go in there and that the cut is smaller than the part you can also like if you were really good at this kind of stuff uh, or really cared to do it like exact size you could do it you could cut them to the exact size of that part but the reason why this is a little difficult is because these jaws, it's hard to get a measurement in there. So I'm just cutting it slightly smaller than the part. And this always worked perfect for me.
here's how it ended up. Looking pretty good. So I determined how big to make that. I just measured the stock one. There was a difference. Uh, it was 31 thousandths bigger on the inside bore than the compressor wheel. Might be able to see the radius a little bit. It's a little harder too on the 11 blades. Maybe notch. Anyway, it looks good. Spins good. Everything. So this thing's ready to go. This guy uh, bought this cartridge, so it needed to be machined for that compressor wheel. And it's supposedly going on a motorcycle. You can see how much play it should have. This is a brand new cartridge. <laughs> 